Well, friends, I have a very special guest for you this morning. This is Reverend Roland Comtois. He's been with us for a few years now, serving our chapel, bringing messages from the higher realms of life and demonstrations of mediumship. And this is the first time that we've extended the opportunity for him to speak and share messages uh, with you, really in the form of a sermon, a spiritual message this morning. So it's something to uplift your spirit. Uh, Reverend Comtois has traveled extensively around the world. If you are follow, how many of you are on his website? How many of you follow him? I do. I get the messages. Uh, if you will notice, for those of you who do, he actually travels around to throughout Europe. I believe uh, through Canada you've been to recently, and uh, carrying the message of the higher realms of life, of the truth, of the existence, and also healing hearts in that journey by bringing through messages of love from the higher realms. So I want to share with you all this morning my dear friend, Reverend Roland Comtois, and uh, enjoy this message from him today. I was uh, searching for God a few years ago, so I went to a yard sale. <laughs> I know you wonder, could God really be at a yard sale? I guess he could. And I was looking for some hope and some inspiration, and I went through all these boxes at this yard sale, and this magnificent book appeared. And I opened it up and I looked through it and I thought, this is nice. And then I saw the price for 12 bucks and I thought, well, that's expensive. I, I, I might put it back and I'm not sure. But something inside of me told me that there was something in here for me. And I believe that, like you, God is everywhere. That God is in the most extraordinary places. And in those quiet little spots that somehow God exists to guide us and to inspire us. And that message to buy this book was overwhelming, that I had no choice but to take the $12 and buy the book. And I went home thinking something mysterious is going to happen here. Something extraordinary is going to happen here because God told me to go to the yard sale. That something amazing would happen. And I thumbed through the book and I looked around and something amazing did happen a piece of paper was tucked in a book a piece of paper that I had no idea existed in that book a piece of paper that somehow was meant for me to see and years later I think it's meant for you to hear and so I opened up this paper typed written from someone who left it in the book a message that was supposed to be heard experienced and felt and I and I thought well I'll, I'll I'll read it. And by the way, when I received it, it was already highlighted in yellow. I didn't need much direction from the spiritual world. It's already written for me to follow through, to experience. And, and I want to share it with you because I, I really believe that it goes to the theme, to the liturgy, to the purpose of today's experience. And that we are here to create a space that transforms lives into greatness and I read this and it says I think I think there is something in each of us way down deep inside that allows us to rise above mountains to rise above ourselves to become something we wouldn't ordinarily be and then it goes on to say he says, I, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's the part that responds to love, the part that responds to friendship, to beauty, or the part, and a small part, that reminds us to remember God. And I thought, oh wow, God was up to something. Left my house in Connecticut, drove miles to this these back roads where I live and there was one little sign that said yard sale why would God send me to the back roads of a place not familiar to me but maybe to get this message a message that says if we remember love 
if we remember friendship, if we remember beauty, then maybe we remember God. Maybe we remember that we are part of God, that we are a magnificent thread of the tapestry of divine light. And when we stand in our truth and we stand in our authentic selves and we become who we are, who we are really meant to be, and something happens inside of us. It ignites energy. It somehow creates a bond between us and those that we share our lives with. And here I thought I was just going to the yard sale. But in fact, I was going there to change. To change the way that I was viewing the world. The way that I was viewing my experiences. I came out of that place knowing that somehow I, like you, like all of us, when we stand in our truth, we ignite that energy in someone else. It's, it's no different than stretching my hand to you, that the second I touch you, the energy of God appears. The second we are here together, something happens and it ignites an extraordinary energy of love. Hey, you know that old story of that young boy standing at the edge of the ocean? It was an old spiritual story and there were starfish everywhere. And a horseman comes by and he sees this, he sees this little kid, eight years old, taking the starfish and flinging it back into the water. He went around and he picked up one, and two, and three. And the old horseman, the old man said, he said, what are you doing that for? You don't have enough time to save all those starfish. And that kid walked another few feet and he picked up another one. He loved it, tossed it back into the water. And that guy said, you're wasting your time. You're wasting energy. You're wasting time. And that little boy picked up the starfish, raised it up to the light, tossed it into the water, and said it matters to this one. It matters to this one. You matter. I matter. We matter. The congregation matters. And in one brief moment of time, and when you leave here, you'll pick up the starfish and you will ignite the greatness and each other. I, I, I don't mean to put pressure on you, but it's your responsibility. If you are truly a thread in the tapestry of light, if you are truly that person, if you are truly on that mission, and if this church is truly on that journey, then you have to, with every ounce of energy you have, to walk to that one starfish and lift it up and send him into the water. It's our job. It's our purpose. It's our life experience to stand by each other's side. And when we do, something happens. It ignites something in us that we couldn't see before. This guy was right. Let me read it again in case you didn't hear it the first time. I think there is something in each of us, way down deep inside of us, that part that allows us to rise above mountains, to rise above ourselves, to, to become something we wouldn't ordinarily be. And then he goes on to say, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's the part that remembers love, that remembers being touched by goodness, that remembers the connection that we have that remembers the beauty and the light that exists in each and every one of us. Maybe it's the small part 
that still remembers God. God isn't in one place. God isn't in one house. He's in everything. That light is everywhere. It's up to you to figure out how to see that light within yourself, within each other. And then, like that little boy, you have to lift that starfish and set him free. I think you have it in you. I see it in you. I feel it when I'm here with you. And by the way, this is my third year coming here. When I walked into the church this morning, it was filled with such divine energy. I knew that I would tap into and touch and experience the thread of light. This book called The Dory Lectures was written in 1915. And on and in the book it says, man's place in the cosmic order is to understand the divine power, to understand who we are and why we're here and our contribution to this experience. Because you and I are starfish waiting for someone to see us, to love us and to embrace us. I want to share one other, th one other thing with you. That before I finish my sermon, I think you are beautiful. I think you're beautiful. I do. And I think that you are a part of something extraordinary. I do. I don't say things for the fun of it. I say it because somehow I feel it inside. I see the spark of light in you. I see the energy moving through you. And all you have to do is take that with you when you leave and ignite it in the next person you meet. I thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me this morning. I really appreciate it. And, and thank you for listening. I send you love from my heart to yours. Thanks, everybody. Beautiful. Starfish. What a symbol, right? Love that.